Today, Precarious plays... Deus Ex, Mankind Divided. So let's be abrasive. Are you asking me or telling me? Which would you prefer? Not everyone's as familiar with US history as you Americans would like to believe, you know. Where are you from, Doc? We're discussing your file, remember? So, it was David mm. Seraf who had you augmented after anti-Og extremists attacked the company? I mean, they've got a... It seems like they have a little bit of a drop shadow on that font. Yeah, but it's not quite enough. Yeah, they really should have put, um, put a black box behind the subtitles. I would cut to the chase because I think he wants out of this conversation as quickly as possible. I may not have chosen to be augmented, Doctor, but I'm alive today because of it. And living in a world where people fear and hate the augmented. You know in the eyes of society you've become the enemy, Adam. Which actually leads me to my next question. So far, no one's claimed responsibility for the attack at Rizika. But with the human restoration vote coming, well, it's no secret Prague has become the symbol of legalized augmented oppression. And the Augmented Rights Coalition is camped at its back door, trying to expose and resist it. Most of the world thinks of them as terrorists. Augmented terrorists. If it turns out they are guilty, well, being augmented yourself... How am I going to feel? It's interesting to me that Adam didn't take a seat. Did she offer him a seat? I don't know. Maybe his model doesn't set well. Yeah. Well, we all know that he's got those retractable legs. <laughs> so he would just fold up into a cube with a <laughs> with chiseled a head. head on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, that sounds cute. I'm imagining Claptrap with <laughs> Jensen's head on it now. <laughs> Claptrap's much more handsome. Clap Jensen. Rugged, rugged older brother. Or Trap Jensen. I I would lean on A, or I mean, sorry, I realize that they are all A. Right, just call out the... Complex issue. I'm torn between complex issue and it's my job. Well, does Jensen... How do you think he feels? Well... Here's the thing. I think that he probably feels... No. I think that he thinks it's a complex issue. When it comes to feelings, I think that he is... What's the word? Punitive? I think that... At least how we've been playing him so far, and really like the Jensen that was featured in the in some of the early trailers for this one, where he's like sometimes I, I think that it's in the Mankind Divided trailer where right before like the big combat sequence, mm -hmm. he says sometimes you need to sometimes you need to just learn when to let go, and then he lightning bolts down and punches yeah. somebody and does a bunch of cool combat moves. Um, so I think that if you were to ask him, he would say complex issue, but out in the field, as soon as he sees someone in trouble, he, he acts before he thinks he, right. Okay. He, so he, then it's he the does a punch if it means saving someone. All right. So what do you think he'd say to this check? Well, this is a calm environment, so he'd probably say it was a complex issue. Yeah. Okay. There are no easy answers, Doc. If the augmented are behind this, maybe they felt it was their only recourse. Or maybe terrorism would stop if the ruling class realized how often their own actions contribute to it. So investigating Ark, there's no value conflict for you? Right now, I'm just a cop. And it's criminals that are responsible for this chaos, augmented or not. My job is to prevent further bloodshed. Mm -hmm. So we sort of loop back around to the same point That's anyway. Yeah. 
Listen, Adam, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me. I didn't realize I had a choice. You don't. You didn't. <laughs> yeah. I thank you. I'll let the director know that I'm officially clearing you for the field. Well, it's probably best if I get back to work, Doc. I'll see you around. Miller, we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's well. en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. So we are cleared to go back to the field. Damn, I guess we really don't talk to Polar again. Do we have any additional side missions? <sighs> you know what I'm really thankful for? And that's already got a check mark, so I don't have to go back to that. Well, uh, what? The swears. Oh, yeah, because we've been playing Pendril and we try to not swear in such a sweet, gentle environment. I would argue that that environment has become toxic and deserving of swears. I heard about the explosion. We should relocate. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together. Tell him, tell him it's just, it's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen, or someone is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. Our building's front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Miller's got me cleaning up Intellicam footage from the attack to help figure out who these people are. Meanwhile, maybe they're trying to figure out who we are? Why else poke into an import company? You think someone's figured out that the company's a front? Maybe they mm. know what's really down here. We have a lot of enemies. The people who bombed the train station, you don't think they'd love to know where we are? You need to help me figure out who's looking into us and make them stop. I mean, sure. Can you delve deeper? Well... I don't think delve deeper is unreasonable. Okay. I'm gonna need more information about this snoop of yours. I don't know for sure that our cover's been blown. But if it has, we need to know before our enemies have a chance to do something about it. I'm curious about the front company. What can you tell me about our front company? Praha Dovos was designed to be forgettable. The kind of place you walk by a hundred times and still can't remember. It obviously caught someone's attention. What happens if we're compromised? My guess, we dismantle and disappear. Agents go into hiding, director burrows into some hole, poof, no Christmas party. You really think there's a risk here? Maybe someone's just poking around the fake website of a fake company. Mm. If someone points a gun at me, I assume it's loaded. If someone hacks into the website of the company that serves as our cover, I assume they're doing it for a bad reason. Such as? Everything depends on who they are and what they know. But we're in the business of dealing with terrorists. If those terrorists find out where we are... TF-29 likes its privacy. Sure. More importantly, Chang likes being in one piece. Unlike you, I don't just brush off explosions. Hmm, it doesn't seem like it would be a coincidence. But maybe just... Maybe somebody saw it and thought, like, Ah, that looks like an easy mark. That probably... That's probably run by a couple of grannies. Yeah. You got an ammo in this hacker? At first, I thought it might be the Collective. But you're not convinced. Not Janus' style to leave crumbs this big. But whoever it is, they risk exposing us. If the Collective ever found out where we operate... Oh my god, Janus. <laughs> oh. Maybe Janus knows already. Yeah. Hey, hey, don't say shit like that. I get nervous enough Jensen this. works for them. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Jensen. So that's why it's especially... That's dirty. It's especially funny where he's like, maybe they already know. Mm. <laughs> maybe they have a handsome agent on the inside. I bet you one of these employees getting you coffee is. I need you to find out as much as you can about our Snoop. Make sure we're not in danger. I mean, sure, why not? <sighs> is this thinks... a boring... I don't remember. I don't remember this one, but part of me thinks... No, it would make more sense for Adam to be the one to investigate it because... So that he can know who his competition is. Well, so he... Realistically, it would be so he could 
feed them fake information. Yeah. If if it is the collective, if somebody on his other team messed something up, he would be able to cover it up. He would. Yes, except. All right. You have any leads? I traced our hacker Snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Hall Avenue, just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day, probably walks in. You're kidding. See? You feel it now. The constant buried alive feeling. Correct me <laughs> if I'm wrong, but I thought we were supposed to be suspicious of things that go on outside these walls. It's never that simple. Just get into that apartment, access the computer they used, and find out what you can. And be careful, Jensen. We don't know who we're dealing with. I'll look into it. As soon as I know something, so will you. Oh. That guy is... <laughs> he is stressing himself out. Yeah. <clears throat> his, um... I mean, for good reason, but... His life expectancy is not gonna be... what it ought to be at this rate. Yeah. Um... I... feel badly increasingly for people that are like <sighs> consumed with worry over conspiracy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I increasingly empathize and feel sympathetic towards them. It used to be that I was just, I'd be pretty dismissive of it and I would be like, mm -hmm. There are more immediate pro Even if whatever you're thinking right now is real and true, there are more immediate, actionable problems. Yeah, yeah. But the more I, I think about it and the more I see in reality just real problems, I think, like, they are... Even if it is misplaced, the concerns are, are I think, they're coming from the, the right kind of place, even if it's not... Even if it's not factual or practical, the what? The idea of being concerned, it's reasonable. Yeah, it's sort of like, whoa, lizards, lizard people? No, not Probably that. Probably not. Probably not that, but that, that feeling that something isn't right, that there's some injustice that that I get. Yeah. Like, it's peculiar because I, I keep finding myself like uh, top floor? Top floor, so it's got to be the threes. Yeah. Uh, I keep... It's sort of like there's an argument that's going on around you and you feel inclined to step in mm -hmm. but then you're not quite on the side you thought you were or you're somewhere in the middle but both people arguing are are like yeah i agree with what, what this person says mm -hmm. and it's like i i don't know if i appreciate I the company that I'm, yeah <laughs> that i'm being uh ensnared by and being uh i'm these are some uh, curious shoulders to be standing side by side with. Mm -hmm. That's weird. What am I trying to say? Keep at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I learned about light bulbs recently. This is going to sound like a goof, but I'm being serious. I learned about a real, actual, factual, it's already happened, so it's well-documented, and you can just read about it, conspiracy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Where light bulb technology became unprofitable because the light bulbs were lasting too long. Mm -hmm. So a bunch of companies worldwide banded together to <laughs> for the noble task of inventing a worse light bulb. Mm-hmm. So that people would have to purchase more light bulbs. Right. And this is something... So you know how, like, planned obsolescence is a a term that's in 
modern popular culture. Yeah. It's a conspiracy. Wait. Spy basement? Does that say spy basement? It does say spy basement. Secret new drug lab. Water oh. poisoning. Oh boy. That one's pretty funny. Who human cloning tests. What else does it say? Nuclear facility, uh general media conspiracy, water poisoning, uh human cloning tests, secret new drug lab. Scratched out. Uh uh something cult? Yeah. Ter terrorist? Terrorist cult. They ruled that out. So it's not that. Uh with a spy basement. But oh, I'm going a little faster. That's it, right? That's, that's it. That's, yeah, that's us. Okay, so they see, think, he he was right. They think that there's a spy basement. Oh, somebody somebody's on to us. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? When? Who? Why? Um. Oh. So I should access that in a minute. That's several pints. What? Oh. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah. Do oh, I really, is that, does that just hold, is that a screwdriver holder? What do you mean, that? Yeah. Oh, those are, yeah, those are the- Like little jeweler's screwdrivers for That's fine neat. electronics. It's beautiful. I want yeah. one. I don't know, I think it takes up a lot more space than it needs to. Hush. <laughs> I'm just saying. And so do they could flowers, have, okay? They could, have, they could have had one that they were all just arranged exactly vertically, and it would drastically decrease the footprint. That You know what this is? This is a tipping Joy. hazard. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, the computer is the obvious one, so I'm going to look around. I'm going to snoop before that. Uh -huh. What were we talking about? Light bulbs. Uh, there was a, a real world conspiracy, and since they got away with it, and a lot of the people like got were getting old they're and, rich, they're... And, and died. Yeah, some of the help was just like, yeah, it's a thing we did, and we got away with it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And the probably the bet, like the most positive thing that came out of it for everybody that wasn't somebody that worked at one of these companies, uh, it was. Um, that the reason why light bulbs almost- it's From that burger place. They must not be very good. Nobody seems to eat a whole one. <laughs> or they just wanted it to be more iconically a burger than just the empty box. That could be- Whatever. Or it's just, it looks like a really big burger, right? Maybe. That's huge. Look at that compared to Jensen. That is a- So yeah, me... you'd have to put it into one of those hollow legs. There. No, well, I'm pretty close. But you can see, that's like as big as his head. It is a very large burger, however... That's a novelty sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of thing... food category. That's, that's another conspiracy. They put it on the menu, and you're not supposed to buy it. It's just supposed to get you in the door, and then you're supposed to get something more reasonable. Yeah, there you're are tons of things Supposed to get something like respectable. That. I don't know if that's a conspiracy... Where's the line between conspiracy and marketing? Uh, there isn't. They're the same thing. Okay. Well. It's cool. a, they're, they are both a deception. Mm. Huh. Peculiar. Interesting. Why is this a restricted zone? I don't know. There's a laser, so I don't want to trip it. Okay, well, don't trip it. I don't know if I need to go over there right now. Uh, let me... Anything? Is there anything cool over here? Is that a body? And then it's not a body, no. it's a pillow. Throw a pillow. Uh I'm gonna go investigate the computer. We'll be back once I've gotten gotten back there. <laughs> 